Hey everyone, it's Paul Eyes with TableSoccerUSA.shop and also Maryland Sabudio Club. Wanted to share with you um, a way that we're running our tournaments uh, currently and it's been real efficient and quickly as God is playing, which is also which is always awesome. And it's a site, I'll put the link in the description called challenge.com, many of you may have heard it. But um, I think for Sabudio it can work really well for like club nights. There's a lot of different options you can go with, but what I do a lot now is I use something called a Swiss ladder style tournament because we've been having some biggish numbers of people coming out, like sevens, eights, and nines of players. And when you get numbers like that, not everybody can play each other in a single night. So a Swiss ladder is actually used a lot in like chess tournaments where you can't play all 63 players if you're in a field of 64 or whatever. You um, will eventually find your level after an initial draw for the first round of fixtures and it kind of sorts it um, and uh, and you have an opportunity to get back if you lose the first game but there is an element of luck about the first round draw I will I will say that but heck what tournament doesn't have that first of all with challenge so uh, again the link will be in the description you create an account I've done that over here pretty straightforward You'll then be on a landing page or you can select it over here for creating a tournament. And I'm going to put my tournament in right here and follow the prompts. So I'm going to do um, Subutio event. Okay, got it. And I can have a description. I usually don't bother with that. Don't really care about that. The game, I put in just in case somebody wants to. I think you can find these results on Challenge at a later stage. So I just put that in there. Then we come down to the formatting of the tournament. Do you want a single stage tournament? That's like a straight knockout and it'll create brackets for you. A two stage tournament, which we call um, double elimination often. I actually use this part down here um, and it is, I come down to format and for me, I've been using Swiss style, as I said recently. Then it's not really set up specifically for soccer, so it says points per win, but the, it does work. I'm going to make that three points for a win, which would be traditional, one for a tie and points per game set, none, none of those, another game set, points for a buy, make sure we make that zero, okay? Then I'm coming back, some things, if you wanna have people register, you can. It does um, re um, require some sort of start time, so I'm just gonna select right now. Um, it doesn't seem to matter, you can start your tournament when you're ready. Um, and then we have some advanced options, I'll never get into those, and I'm into save and continue. So creating a tournament, let's say I have nine people showing up this night. <clears throat> the next stage is I go to add participants. And in here, I'm going to start typing the names. Zach, I'm putting you in first because you had a question about this. And we've got that, we're gonna put in nine names and we've got, um, Ryan, we've got, Andrew, we've got Benny, we've got Chris, and we've got um, Brendan. Okay, sorry, Brendan, spell your name right there. So we've got nine players. So we're going to create a bracket, but one nice thing too I find for time is that, and have somebody look over your shoulder. I sometimes have them do this, make sure they don't think I'm, 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 I'm pulling any uh, tricks here. Shuffle seeds is a way, instead of drawing out of a hat, you can quickly do that because we don't want the matchups necessarily to be Zach and Paul. I know Zach doesn't want to play me, so there you go. We'll go with shuffle seeds and it will round ask me, do I want to shuffle that? Yes, I do. And he's changed the order of everybody, and that's random, and it's done by the computer. Okay, their algorithm, I guess. So we've got now our lineup of players. We've got nine people showed up for an evening, and the next is you're prompted to go to the bracket. And for here, one key thing I would suggest, well, this is, I found this is important. It asks how many rounds of play do you want? So you want to calculate your evening if you have you know, three hours to play, uh, maybe you want a final at the end of the top two players, That would, which, would, which could be fun. You want to calculate your time and the length of your games and how long it will take you to get through. Let's say, for example, we've got nine players, but we're going to play six rounds. So we're going to put that in, okay? 
I do find that is important to do straight away. You can't adjust that once you've started the tournament. So that is important. I've made that mistake, okay? The first round is up here. You'll notice rounds two is not filled in because we don't have the results in yet. Because what the Swiss style tournament does, it picks out the winners. We'll play another winner in round two. Losers will play another loser. Um, people who tied will likely play each other next round. We've got somebody who's sitting out with a bye. That will come in there. So let's go now. We're ready. We've got our round set to start tournaments. And we've got the tournament has started. Yay. Okay. And it's got the number of rounds in there. Let's see. I thought I had six. I'm going to make sure that is back in there. And it does come up. Okay. Because that is important. All right. So uh, next, let's, uh, let's say we've played our games. The first round, this random draw, and we start putting in the scores. So we'll have Sam pulled off an upset against Dan, submits that score. Um, Benny and Andrew was 1-1, one, one, and submitting the score, um, Zach and Brian, um, Brian is rapidly improving, well played Brian, gets a 4-0 on Zach, and Brandon, um, a newcomer, quickly picking up the game, beats myself. So now I've saved that. Um, and I put the scores in, you'll notice now it automatically populates down at the bottom into what will be round two. And there are some standings down here. It shows the standings, but you actually, it, 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 it only, this only populates once you have um, uh, played all of the, um, played all of the games. We do have a situation here with buys that's also kind of random, unfortunately, with this uneven number, all right? So let's see, we've got our second round of games, and as we come through, we're going to keep on putting in the scores, putting in the scores, the next rounds will be generated, um, and then we will have an overall record, okay, here for, and then you can select the top um, two players if you want to play a final at the very end. So... The, the, the things I like about this is the, uh, the random draw, the recording of the event, and what I've been doing recently is taking a screenshot of this particular page, then it's a nice summary of our evening and what happened, and uh, again, this will populate once everything is put in there. You can use this program also to... Um, to run single elimination events. Um, I haven't done group stage things. I'm not sure if that's really set up that way, but you can explore it a little bit. Notice at the top, our settings, nine players, a Swiss style tournament. And that would be that. So we didn't complete all our rounds. I'm going to have you watch me put all these scores in here. Um, so comments, um, put them in the chat, guys. And here comes Hurt. He's got some fiddler on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. It's good.